back that way, you should get a hold of the park ranger. Because he's to way too close. To too close to the. That's way too close. Yeah. Yeah. Watch out! If he can strike that. Yeah. Copy. Oh, I know. Just try to keep him. Get him off the trail. Get him to work oh his way back. Oh my goodness. Get him to work his way back. I thought it was some kind of bird. That's yeah. a rattlesnake? Yeah. That's See a... the rattler on the tail there? Yeah, there's, no. a, there's a rattle on the left hand side of the snake. Oh. Hi, my name is Lisa Naughton. I'm a seasonal park ranger here at Castlewood Canyon State Park. I am also the resident snake handler here. And you go like that? There you go. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Huh? Uh, he wants to come. Um, I'd like to talk to you today about rattlesnakes. Rattlesnakes are a wonderful animal here at the park. A lot of people are very afraid of them. Why are they afraid? Because they can strike and they do have venom. The first thing you need to do is listen. That means music out of the ears, especially when you're walking in a wilderness area. Listen to the sounds of nature and that way you can hear the rattlesnakes. The second thing you wanna make sure you do is you stop when you hear the rattle. You wanna know where that rattle is. If it's on your side, you back away from it. Don't run, just back away from it. You will be fine. Snakes don't wanna bite you. They don't wanna use their venom on you. You are too big to eat. So what they are doing is telling you, hey, look, I am here. Um, I don't wanna harm you, but I want you to stay away from me. Snakes can only strike two thirds of their body distance. And the rattlesnakes we have out here are um, between three and five feet long. Um, what you don't want to do when you see a snake, or especially a rattlesnake, is pick it up. Obviously, you will be struck then and you might have venom put into you. And rattlesnakes can do a dry bite, so they can bite you and no venom will go into you. And then again, you don't know that, so you'll have to be rushed to the hospital. Um, the chemical balance in a baby snake is a lot um, more concentrated, only because they have to be able to kill their prey as soon as they strike it. You also don't want to um, just pester a snake only because they um, are afraid of you as, as much as you are afraid of them. So just leave them alone and let them be and they'll wander off on their own. Now if there's a snake that is on the trail and you, need, you feel the need to get it off, you can always take a stick. So gently pick up the snake with a stick and then move it out of the way. It usually goes off on its own and you'll be fine. We do have a rule here at Castlewood, and it's a rule all over the state of Colorado, and that is to make sure that you keep your dog on leash. Dogs get bit all the time, and some make it and some don't. So we want to protect our little friends. So let's just make sure that they stay on a leash at all times while in the park, because if they do get bit, it is a $2,500 anti-venom. It's only a 50% chance that your dog makes it. If you'd like to learn a lot more about snakes, come see me at Castlewood Canyon State Park on Sundays at 1.30. I try to feed these guys and tell you a whole lot about them.